All right, most of America is having a very chilly end to the year, especially us in the East. And to President Trump, that offers a great chance to talk about global warming or lack thereof. Last night, the president tweeted this. In the East, it could be the coldest New Year's Eve on record. Perhaps we could use a little bit of that good old global warming that our country, but not other countries, were going to pay trillions of dollars to protect us against. Bundle up, exclamation point, close quotes. The president's remarks are sure to upset Al Gore, who has been warning us for more than a decade that the polar ice caps will be gone any day now. The entire North Polar Ice Cap during summer, during some of the summer months could be completely ice-free within the next five to seven years. Unfortunately and regrettably, a lot of serious damage has been done. Greenland, for example, is losing one cubic kilometer of ice every single day. I went down to Miami and saw fish from the ocean swimming in the streets on a sunny day. Right, and then kids were fishing to catch those fish. Uh, Craig Wright, uh, Wright, Wrightstone is the author of this book called Inconvenient Facts. And he goes on all of it, looks at all of Al Gore's statements and brings his uh, form of science to him. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate you joining us, Greg. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed uh, Donald Trump's tweet there. So was he wrong? Because he's getting ripped by everyone. Elizabeth Warren just says, I'm going to say something really crazy. I believe in science. Climate change is real. And we have a moral obligation to protect this earth from our children and grandchildren. And a lot of people mocking the president. You're not. Why? Well, he's a, I spent the day on some uh, climate alarmist blogosphere and websites, and they, when they weren't deriding him for being a, a climate change denier or a science denier, they were deriding him because he couldn't tell the difference between weather and climate. And uh, uh, apparently weather is whenever uh, the temperatures don't agree with what they have to say, and climate is one that does. You know, if it was 75 degrees on Times Square on New Year's Eve, it'd be a front-page story confirming climate change in the New York Times. So, Gregory, uh, you do you do you do not believe uh, you do not believe that a man, a man is destroying the Earth? I do not. Actually, uh, there's a lot of evidence uh, that increasing CO2 and rising temperatures are having a, a significantly beneficial aspect to uh, to the Earth and the human condition, just things like uh, heat waves and uh, forest fires are actually been a long-term decline, which is something your listeners probably have never heard, uh, and, and something really needs to get out there. Well, they don't you, want to hear, have these inconvenient facts out there. And your book is all about taking Al Gore's principles and his, and his uh, very popular documentary, his, his sequel wasn't, and, and, and bringing your uh, version of science to it. I'm going to bring, throw this at you. The rate at which oceans are heating up has nearly doubled since 1992, and that heat is reaching even deeper waters, according to a new study. Do you believe that? Uh, I, I do not. There, are, there is evidence that the oceans have heated up a little bit, but not anywhere the, near the rate that's claimed and uh, nowhere near the predictions. Uh, a lot of the uh, climate apocalypse events that are predicted are actually based on extremely flawed climate models that have failed time and time again. Do you believe that the warming trend has accelerated have, 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 as we have increased our use of fossil fuels that began in the 19th century? Well, we know that the warming trend that we're in right now, it actually started, we know the year. It was 1695. That was in the middle of the, the Little Ice Age, the depths of the horrendous Little Ice Age. In the next 40 years, the rate of warming is four times what we've seen in the 20th century. And for the next, uh, from 1695 to 1850, we had more warming than we've had since. So if we look at, at the, uh, the warming we've seen in the 20th century, it's very similar to other warming trends we've seen since the end of the, the uh, last ice age. It's neither unusual uh, nor unprecedented. What's your background that leads you to a science that contradicts so many uh, other scientists that the left goes to to say we have to act and act now? Yeah, I'm, I'm a geologist. I've spent 35 years researching uh, various aspects of, of the, the Earth's processes. And Brian, I didn't start out to write a book. I, I really did not. I started out to seek the truth. And in that, while I was seeking the truth, I knew that there were some climate uh, things we were being told that were just wrong based on my knowledge of geology. I suspected that others were wrong. And as I delved into right. it, it was shocking. That, uh, that just most of these, uh, what we're being told is completely 180 degrees 
yeah, from you, what we're being told. And you got to pick up his book. It's extremely readable. I'm not a scientist. I'm able to digest it. Gregory Wrightstone, thanks so much. Appreciate you joining us. It's the hottest Thank debate, you. pun intended, in America today. And speaking of global warming or the lack thereof, we'll have an update on the forecast for this weekend. Cold? More to come.